And would you like to be it? Sure. Why not? I, yeah, okay. I don't be the one should we change the scene? What should we do, John? This is good. Okay, so you could be on me right here. This side? Okay. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Hi. Now, what is your name? Tara. Okay. Hi, Tara. What's your name? Gavin. Gavin, nice to meet you. Now, Tara, I'd like for you to tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. Oh. Did you already see it? <laughs> you should uh, cheat right here. I saw it. Something said thoughts. So okay. No, you got it wrong. Okay. No problem. So, the question for you is, what are you tolerating? Oh. So, what am I tolerating? lot <laughs> um hmm i'm tolerating how, how like something like bad that i'm maybe anything okay um i'm i'm tolerating being in a relationship where i'm not being treated with respect and i've been just tolerating that and not listening to myself and realizing that I deserve better. How long have you been tolerating that? Um, almost two years, off and on. What makes you stay? Fear of being alone, maybe. Part of it, that's part of it. Yeah, right. And, and then also, you know, some of the good qualities uh, in sure. him. But, you know, it's not all bad. But I think the bad probably outweighs the good. What's been missing this whole time? Um, maturity on the other person's part. Um, and really, the, the, the connection's not there that I think it should be. A real deep connection isn't there. Yeah. So, regarding this, what do you need to tell yourself? Uh, to listen to my instincts and my inner voice that's telling me what I need to do. And what's that? Um, to just let it go, close that chapter, and move on. That's huge. I want to thank you for being so honest about this. This is the magical thing that I've really found so fulfilling about this project. Yeah. Is people like just a stranger. I didn't know you before. Yeah. And you kind of like sharing really a deep part of your life and something that means a lot to you that you need to let go of and just like the fear that surrounds that. How important, how important is it to you to let go so you can embark on a new chapter? I think it's very important because um, it's by not letting go, I think I'm holding back on certain things and pursuing um, different things that I know that I, I, I need to, to pursue because I'm still holding on to that. And, and for you to do that, sorry for putting you on, no, okay. but for you to actually take the, have the courage to let go, what would that say about who you are as a person? I think that would just confirm my strength that I know I have, that sometimes when we forget and we don't believe in ourselves, it's, you know, it just reaffirms that you are that person that you know you are when you can take that, follow your own advice and take those steps that you need to take. And what's your superpower? See, I knew you were going to ask that, and I still haven't <laughs> thought of anything. Um, recently, my superpower has been trying to consistently wake up at 4.30 every morning oh. to go to the gym. My Even goodness. though every morning I say that I this is crazy, I don't want to do it, I just want to sleep, but then afterwards I feel so amazing. It's kind of what keeps me going. I don't know how long it will last, but... I feel a little bit like a superhuman when I do that. That's so awesome. I guess, yeah. Your health is important to your physical, and so is your mental. Yes, and definitely oh. helps mentally a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And so I bless you with the courage to let go. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you so well, much. Well, thank you for I this really appreciate experience. It. <laughs>